I gotta be honest, I've never been a huge fan of documentaries. I've certainly watched quite a few of them and some I've actually loved. And I even made a short documentary once for my other channel. But if there is one documentary that I would recommend to people that don't like that kind of filmmaking, it would be The Mole Agent. And that's taking into consideration that it's not in English or about any crazy topic. The Mole Agent is a quote-unquote documentary about an old man in his 80s that gets hired by a private investigator to infiltrate an old folks home and see if people that live there are being abused. I didn't say it was a regular documentary because there are many scenes that are definitely staged. Not like they're making up a fake story with all people living there and acting in the movie, but some scenes get an extra something that make them feel more cinematic. Whether it is a small montage or a scripted line to add a joke, this isn't a fly on the wall documentary, but nowadays there's not many of those. But regardless of that, The Mole Agent is one of my favorite movies of 2020 and it definitely should have won the Oscar. That octopus movie was pretty good, but when it's nominated the same year as The Mole Agent, giving the Oscar to my octopus teacher feels like an insult to this beautiful story that The Mole Agent tells us. And the way that the guy talks about the octopus made me feel very uneasy sometimes. In all seriousness, my octopus teacher was a pretty good documentary. My friends were trashing it so much after it won the Oscar, and while I was watching my octopus teacher, I felt like they were just being silly. After all, I think it's a very good documentary if you try to ignore some sort of creepy things that the guy talks to you about when he describes his relationship with the octopus like it's more important than his family. But anyways, the reason you clicked on this video is because you're at least slightly interested in the mole agent, so we are going to be talking about that now. After watching the first half hour of the mole agent, I realized why my friends hated my octopus teacher so much. The mole agent is just a far superior movie, and I've never felt so invested in a documentary in my life. They have a crew filming in the nursing home with the excuse of just making a documentary about something else so that they get permission to just record anything they want in the nursing home, especially our mole agent Sergio, or Sergio I guess. And this old man is such an interesting and kind person. Right before he moves into the nursing home, we learn that he wanted to do it because his wife recently passed away and he's just bored and lonely living at his home. He then finds this job and it gives him a sense of purpose and excitement. And even though he says that it made him feel a little bit exhausted at times, it's exactly what he needed. Sergio is such a likable person that almost everyone at the nursing home becomes his friend. There is also one old lady that really broke my heart because she was in love with Sergio and she talks about wanting to marry him to other people but when she confesses her love for him, Sergio explains that he is still mourning the death of his wife and that he can't be with her. I guess this is a good moment to talk about everyone else in the movie. The old people in this nursing home are also so likable and it's so heartbreaking to hear them talking about life, death and loneliness which is one of the biggest issues that this movie presents to us. Many times I was almost in tears hearing these people talking about how their families haven't visited them in months or how they took so much care of their kids and now that they are grown-ups they are not even a part of their lives anymore. And sometimes we see other people with dementia just being scared and confused and Sergio always goes to help them feel better. This is a beautiful movie and it's also heartbreaking and it's got so much to offer and it's so annoying that it lost to my octopus teacher at the Oscars. But there is one more scene that I'd like to talk about and it's sort of a spoiler so if you're thinking about watching the movie please skip to like I don't know 30 seconds I'm gonna leave the timestamp on the video and uh, yeah I'll start talking about it now. Okay. So one of the saddest parts in this movie are some scenes in which some old ladies talk about their parents as if they were still alive because they have dementia. It gets especially hard when this old lady who misses her mom and nobody ever visits her gets some phone calls by a nurse and she pretends that she's her mom and it's just so heartbreaking to watch. It really broke my heart to see this old lady call her mom and talk to her and say why don't you visit me if you love me so much and she also I think tries to trick Sergio to give her some money so that she can live and visit her mom and I know that I've talked about so many sad scenes from the movie but don't let that fool you. The Mole Agent is a very funny movie at so many times 
Some of the more staged scenes are just funny bits in which Sergio is trying to figure out how to send voice messages to the private investigator that hired him or how to answer a video call. I think that the reason why this movie feels so much less sad than it could be is because of him, Sergio. He is such a cheerful and happy old man that always wants to help people and he's always down to sit down and talk to anyone at the nursing home and he makes so many good friends there. So anyways that's it for the video, the mole agent is such a human and beautiful movie and that means that it can be heartbreaking at some times but it also can be quite happy and beautiful to watch. So if you want to watch a new documentary I really can't recommend the mole agent enough. I would never recommend a foreign documentary to someone that doesn't like documentaries, but the movie-like style of this documentary and our protagonist Sergio makes this completely worth it. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, I'll probably see you again in a few days when I make my post-Oscar talk with my good friend Ben, and please subscribe and like the video or share it if you liked it. And yeah, I'm still really mad because of that octopus guy winning the Oscar.